What's going on guys, this is Rad here again with a new game maker, um, well actually it's not a tutorial but it's just an example I wanna show you. Uh, I know I didn't upload any video recently and that's actually because this year I have a baccalaureate exam and I really need to work uh, hard so... Um, so most of the time I'm actually uh, studying and you know... But once I pass my exam, then I'll be uploading a lot more videos, so please be patient, guys. But anyway, in this video, I want to show you a, a really awesome example I made, and that's uh, a Minecraft example, actually, inventory example. And let me just show you the how it looks. As you can see here, you have the inventory bar here and a lot of items, well actually not a lot, but um, so these are the items and you can open your inventory by pressing E and you can drag, it's actually everything you can do in Minecraft you can do it with this um, inventory you can uh, press shift and press the items to uh, move it under uh, this big inventory you can do the same by uh, shift and click in the items you can press right click to divide the items you can move this uh, items to the same to uh, put them in the same slot and yeah so that's actually that's basically it you can switch the items um, by your uh, by scrolling down or up with your mouse or pressing the numbers so you know but anyway uh, so in order to use this example on uh, your game you just need to import those scripts uh, those scripts and the shader if you wanna uh, highlight uh, the, I the selected items you can uh, read this script uh, but you know now this folder have five scripts or six with uh, readme but this is how to use it first of all make a controller and then in the create event just call this script ser inventory init in the step event uh, call this script ser open close inventory and enter here between the brackets put the key that you want to use to open the inventory right? so this code will open or close the inventory now if mouse check button pressed and be left then ser inventory use item now this script will find which item you're actually selecting and when you press the, the mouse button then this script is actually going to... where is it? ser use item all right I really recommend you to actually edit this uh, script your own because you know it depends on how uh, you want to use your item so this is basically it item to use is the the highlighted item but first uh, we'll come back to this script later and in draw event just um, Call SR inventory draw. So you can read this uh, help uh, message or whatever you call it to, to know how to fill this uh, parameter. So here is um, the port of the screen, and this is the height port of the screen, which is for me room width and room height. 32 is the box aspect to display uh, the, you know, the slot of the inventory. Now, this is the sprite to use uh, in the inventory. I will show you how, uh, how it looks. Um, true is for uh, use sprite. So if you didn't, if you have no sprite here, can uh, put it no. And wait, right? So if this is, if this is false, the script will draw uh, squares to display the items, but it's actually pretty to, you know, join it by using sprites. 
And this is the the Y aspect, where to draw uh, the you know the mini inventory. See black here is the color of the background, the border, the smart tiling. Now smart tiling is just uh, you know. So if you go to the original inventory sprite here, you see this is actually the inventory sprite. This is the top. Uh, the top right corner, top left corner, the bottom uh, left corner, the bottom right corner. So, this is what smart tiling means. The script will see um, the position of each box on the inventory, and it will replace it by uh, one of these sprites depending on the position. So, that's basically it. And, where is it? Yep, and the next step is text color, which is basically the text uh, color. Yeah, um, this is the highlight color, which will actually highlight the selected item. Use mouse roll, uh, that will make you able to use mouse uh, mouse scrolling to you know uh, change the items. Use nums will basically allow you to press numbers to select uh, inventories. I mean item and use highlights uh, so. so if this is true then the script will call the shader to actually make a cool effect so you know now the cool thing about this inventory is you can choose uh, here you can choose how many box you want in your inventory uh, wait, wait not here it's actually here so you can choose the maximum items you can choose, uh, I mean collect, uh, the maximum rows of the big inventory, the maximum, actually, where is it, yep, here, maximum row items, let's change this to 4, max row number, mm, let's change it 4, max items per row, 4, 7, or 6, and yeah, so if I run it now, uh, you'll notice that the inventory is smaller. Come on. Yep, so as you can see here, the inventory is too small now. And yep. Uh, one more thing. Um, to add items to your inventory, simply need to um call this script ser inventory add item the first parameter is the name of the item and the next parameter is the book all right so you need of course you need uh, an items uh, for, uh, a sprite for the item so let's let me just show you how I can do it so with the controller let's call this script ser inventory add I know. Right? Uh, chocolate and SPR chocolate. Well, what's this? Right? So, this code will add an item to your inventory. And, um, where is it? Oh, yeah. In the game and event make sure to destroy the inventory because it, it actually use uh, use DS lists so as you can see here the selected items are all in uh, actually the items that you are going to collect are um, well, let me just uh, where is yeah this script will actually put the items on lists so once you add um, an item, this script will see if uh, you already have the same item, so it will basically increase the numbers of the item by one. If you don't, then it will actually add uh, add a new key to the list, and you know, and where is it? Yeah, this script is actually so long. Let's see how many lines it have. I think it's like 500. 
Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's nearly 600. But um, this is the draw script, which take um, basically it just draw the inventory. Don't get this open if it's really long. But basically, this script will allow you to drag and drop the items, uh, highlight the selected items, and you know. And let's just uh, so where is it? So I have here a chocolate, alright? In the step event, when I press the mouse button, then I'm going to use one of my items. So let's go to um, where is it? Use item. Yeah, this script. So here, let's change this to. So you can do something like if if you have more than one items, which of course you have, do this. If items equals then the item's name. Yeah. Just copy this code. So this is very important because if you have um as I told you can stock more items on the same slot. So if item to use is greater than zero, which basically any number above zero, then it you will lo uh, you will lose one of the items. If you have thirty two items, when you use one of them, you'll have thirty one. And here we're saying if you actually um, don't have the item, so yeah. So if item equals chocolate, then HP plus equals ten. Now let's go and make this variable HP equals 100 and in draw event let's draw the health so just to show you how to use any items draw text 0 0 and uh, string HP whoa what's this yep so let's run the game now. Okay, so here is the chocolate. Now um, here is the health. So if I press uh, the mouse key, uh, I mean the button, then what's this? If item equals chocolate. Very well did. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh wait. Well, what's this? I mean, item to use. Okay, sorry for that, guys. Alright, so let's use the item. Boom. So, yeah, that was all for today, guys. And I hope you liked it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing. Make sure to edit the scripts and copy this code here. into uh, inside this one it's really important I don't know how yeah. so this script will actually check um, if uh, if you wait let's do something here or let's delete it no I'll keep it for you guys if you need uh, to change anything here but make sure to put this block of code inside this if statement because it will check for um, if you have used the items then uh, it will check for example if you have one uh, chocolate bar as I did and you use it then it will not actually draw that you have zero uh, of this item it will actually remove it directly alright um, 
So that was all for today guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then I can suggest any type of examples you wanna see in the future. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next uh, video.